What's your process for developing an idea? Oh, that's difficult. Um, like, what are you doing before you write the screenplay? Well, I, I'll come up with an idea, right? Or I'll come up with a character, or I'll come up with a theory. Um, and most of the time for me, it's like, it's a thesis, it's something, and I think that might be because I, I, I read, I, I love to read so much literature and I, and I kind of come from philosophy that I, I develop a thesis or something that I want to say. Um, and then I find characters that I think I that can embody that purpose and that, that can function in a story that kind of carries this idea throughout it. Um, so I can communicate what I want to say in a story and through characters. So always comes, starts with an idea or a thesis or a theory that I want to talk about. And the characters in the story kind of all fall in line from there. Um, then I'll just, you know, kind of binge watch a bunch of movies that apply. And I'll just write, you know, I carry a little notebook around me everywhere I go. So, because I don't really type that much. I, I mean, I type, but I, I don't really write my script until I've written it handwritten it a bunch of times in a bunch of different ways and I've kind of flushed out my characters and that only then do I write the plot um, because I think that at least in, right now in the stories that I'm trying to tell it's the characters motivate the plot rather than the plot motivating the characters. So I want to really know my characters like they're friends of mine like they're my best friends my childhood friends and so once I know them I kind of know the world once I know the world, I know the story. So that's my process. Interesting. Do you ever get lonely when you finish writing something because they were like your, your best friend almost? Because you, you've, in a sense, if it stops, you're almost losing them for a little bit. Yeah, I haven't really thought about it like that. You know, you kind of, you kind of, after you finish a film or you finish a script, you're kind of like, oh, what now, you know? What do I do now? Because you're like spent this like three month period of time every day thinking about these characters, thinking about writing and thinking about what's next, thinking about how they would say this, thinking about how they say that. So yeah, when it's done, you're kind of like, oh man, I, I don't want it to be over yet, you know? And I think it's the same thing when you finish a film, you're like, oh, oh my God, done shooting? Like that's it? It happened so quickly. So that's why you got to get into editing so you can keep it alive somehow. And then by the time you're done, you've got this file that's like 120 gigabytes and it took you a year and a half to fucking make it. And you're like, a year and a half, my life turns into a 120 gigabyte file or a DVD. So it's kind of a weird sensation that you have when you're like, all this boiled down to this little thing that you can double click and it plays. You just put it in the DVD player and it plays. But I think that's kind of what the whole process is. It justifies, it justifies, you know, the characters that you want to write is because they do get to play. They do get to be on a big screen. They do get to go someplace and other people can watch and live and experience it for like the two hours. So although like when you're done with the script, it's kind of over, it's not really over because your audience gets to live through them. Your audience gets to view it. And that's like, the second reincarnation of your film is like having other people be touched by what you've made.